You recording? Yeah. Do the intro. What is going on guys? Today we are at Target and we are going to be doing a Target haul top 10, not so top 10. Don't get run over. Let's head in. We don't really ever shop here for groceries. We really come for home decor, body lotions, mugs. We get a lot of good mugs here. All of our mugs and all of our videos are from Target. Big find, guys. Check it out. Our friends at uh, F-Bomb made it into Target. So these are definite things we would purchase and we eat. So top 10 for sure. They're uh, nut butter packets, so they have the macadamia ones. And then they have MCT oil ones. So I guess these could be really good for traveling, convenience. Yeah, they got a bunch of stuff here. They oh. got creamers. Oh, my, they have so much keto stuff. They're doing well. This is great. Okay, guys, not top 10. Adkins, generally. It's pretty easy. You just look. There's a very select few of these that don't have maltitol, but for the most part, those this don't. one doesn't. No, those don't. The waiters Oh, these ones don't. don't. So these They're ones new. are good to go. Oh, maybe if they say new, these the, ones. And the indulge, don't even try. Yeah, melatitol is the third ingredient. So these I wouldn't eat. Okay, so these say new again. Let's see what these have. These are decent. Okay, so if they say new, they're in play. Block. Calorie and carb block. That's a not top not 10. Not top 10 for sure. Shortcuts are always not top 10. Unless you're playing Mario Kart. You have a lot of quest selection. Those are all, you know, solid. They got all the goods. Oh, they got the new ones. Oh, let's hit it while it's empty. It's empty. Come on, let's hit it. So as far as deli meat goes, we eat it time to time. And ones we have gotten in the past are these Applegate Naturals. Probably the best ingredients out of all the deli meats you're gonna find. And these are pretty decent when you're in a pinch, like They're at gas stations packs. sometimes. So this is ham, cheese, almonds. I mean, yeah, so the whole package is four total carbs, one fiber, so three net carbs. You know, you're road tripping, you're on the go. It looks like they even have some like grilled chicken here, shredded chicken, grilled chicken strips. That's great. Like if you're making salads for the whole family, if you need to just like do a quick dinner pinch here at Target. In my single days, if I was doing this type of diet, I'm the type of person I would just like buy one of these and eat it for a meal. That's who I am. They got a bunch of burgers though, Bubba. Yeah. Bubba look, burgers are pretty consistent. Yeah, they are. They're really good. You can cook them from frozen. Meatballs generally contain breadcrumbs, guys. It's kind of tragic because it's like Mega's favorite food ever. You just have to make them at home most of the time. So yeah, the egg selection is super weak, but it is cheap. 95 cents. Keto's too expensive. A day's worth of food for a dollar. Not really a day's worth, but like half a day. Oh, it's right there. So we have been getting asked a lot about this yogurt. It's called Too Good. Three total carbs. So three carbs for this entire container. Um, 80 calories, 12 protein, two fat. It is a good option. We've never tried it. No, we haven't tried it. Um, I've never actually found it. So Target seems to have it. I have looked at Whole Foods, Publix, and Kroger. Strawberry flavored and it's still only three total carbs. And if you want your children to ball out at the elementary school lunch table. They're bringing them back. Get them the Gogurt Dunkers. I guess I'll grab one of these and then I can try them. Grab try a few. Them. What if I love them though? And then. They have our favorite pickles ever known to mankind, so they're fresh. You want your pickles fresh. Grillo's is the best. They're super crunchy. They're you don't need them fresh. We just prefer the taste. And their spicy ones are really good. Not too spicy at all, but definitely a top find. Rate the produce section overall. Four or five. Oh, wait, breadless? I've never seen these before. Let's check these out. So these are, we got a couple things that seem like they might be options here. They're breadless. It's an egg witch. It's eight carbs though. Some starches and stuff. It's a reasonable option. It's seven net carbs for almost 300 calories, but like not great. The ingredients are pretty suspect too. The frittata is also seven. Your kids are like in a pinch on the weekend. Like you just want a microwave Jimmy Dean life, which I love. All through college, Jimmy Dean croissants, two a day every morning. And that gets pricey for a college student, but it was worth it to me. I don't think it needs to be said, but it actually does, guys. Don't buy margarine. Margarine is like the worst thing for you. It's soybean oil. And then in their frozen veggie section, we used to actually get this quite a bit. They have mashed cauliflower. Like, yeah, those are good. Those are really good. And microwave them. For a quick side. You got riced cauliflower, rice cauliflower, cauliflower and broccoli. Lots of good options. Okay guys, we got a top 10 and a not top 10. So there's cauliflower. So you're thinking it's like pretty healthy, right? No. There's like a cauliflower little, literally right in the logo. But it's actually 34 grams of carbs for half the pie. So to me, this is a fake healthy food. This is also a fake healthy food, but at least it's low carb. So there's that. I mean, it's, it is a science experiment 
for sure. But we actually have a video where I ate, a, was it a whole one of these? And I tested my blood glucose and everything. Didn't really have much of a response. And I ate half. So like this is definitely a decent part of a keto diet. So for one pie, it's 660 calories. Kind of hard to control your calories when you're eating Quest pizzas. It's really tasty, but yeah, you want more and it really sits in your stomach. And they got three flavors. They got four cheese, pepperoni, supreme. I would say these are definitely top 10. I like them. I can totally see why some people would say not for me because they do have a half of a date in them, which adds a little sugar but they taste really good. I mean, I like the vanilla one the best. Tastes vanilla like birthday cake. Tastes like birthday cake, yeah. There's a little bit of sugar above and beyond just normal nut butter, but I like it. Good for travel, grab and go type stuff. Store-bought brand's not as good. It has maltodextrin in it. So would you rather have sugar from dates or some maltodextrin? Sugar from dates. Why? At least there's like maybe a minuscule amount of nutrients coming. And it's it's like a, whole a whole food. food. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then these are also pretty decent, but they have palm oil in them. It's not a big deal. They have good salad dressing options. They have these Primal Kitchen ones. Top 10 for show. I don't really ever use salad dressing, but Mega does. What's your top pick? Ooh, Green Goddess is phenomenal. And then Caesar second. Decently priced here. Yeah, Target has pretty good prices. They got avocado oil mayo as well. So as far as ice cream goes, the one real option is Halo Top. And you can find that pretty much everywhere now. Halo Top's taken over. The um, carbs are creeping up though, aren't they? Yeah, they have a they actually have a carb smart briars. So for half a cup, it's 12 total carbs, but five sugar alcohol. So seven net carbs, but not great ingredients. It's an option, but I think there's better ones. This is the cheaper option. One of their new ones is this strawberry cheesecake, uh, which is probably super delicious. For half of, so one fourth of this is 17 total carbs, three of which is fiber and five sugar alcohol. So that's nine net carbs for one fourth. And I could easily eat the entire thing. So here's sort of where the deception comes in. Look at the... Uh, Wait. Okay. So like one serving of Ben and Jerry's, it is a half cup as well, but it is 106 grams of weight. Halo Top, a half cup. 68. 68 grams. So you're essentially just eating a lot more air. You're eating makes half, it low carb. Of, half of the actual... It's a little deceptive. It is very deceptive. That's why it's so easy to overeat. And as yeah. they get higher in carbs, it's not a great option. These seaweed snack things are kind of good once in a while. Mission Carb Balance Tortillas. So there are 19 total carbs, 13 fiber per tortilla, so six net carbs. You can see it even there, they have like the six effective carbs. Six net carbs on something that's not at all nutritious. I personally wouldn't do it, but if you're transitioning and it's like tough and you like making burritos and stuff, it is good because you can really fill it full of like good high fat foods. Like I always would make breakfast tacos. That was my thing before doing keto. So you could do that with these. Kids. Gatorade, zero sugar. Definitely not a top 10, but I feel like, you know, it's, it's fine in moderation, I'd say. Just for some reason, it has like modified food starch. I would prefer Powerade personally. Just has less nonsense. People think when you drink these, they have like tons of electrolytes in them. They don't have that much. They have like a tad bit. So a lot of people start doing keto and they're drinking stuff like this and they say they're supplementing electrolytes. You gotta do a lot more. I like to have some kind of spray at my disposal that's like olive oil or coconut oil. Typically coconut oil, just cause it doesn't really make too much sense to cook with olive oil at high temperatures. Obviously stay away from like vegetable oils. Looking through this stuff real quick, what I would probably buy is this because it is in a glass bottle and it's virgin unrefined. That is going to have the most strongest coconut oil taste, like coconut taste, but it's going to be the least processed. But if you don't like coconut oil taste, then just get refined. They got avocado oil. This section is actually like pretty weak. Like at, um, at Walmart, they have everything. They have so much good fats at Walmart. So as far as sweetener go, they have this Splenda Zero which I think is pretty new on the scene. It's an okay option. What's in it? Sucralose, water. Yeah, guys, when you're looking for the sweeteners, it's about what else is in them, especially if it's powdered. So if it's powdered, there's something in there that's making it a powder, right? So yeah, so the ingredients on powders, Blenda is dextrose and maltodextrin and sucralose. So the sucralose ha ha needs a filler and that's the dextro dextrose and the maltodextrin. Okay, so Truvia, for example, is an option. example of one that's good because you have the liquid sweetener, but then it's powdered with erythritol, which is good. So a lot of people ask about subbing Truvia in baking. You can totally use Truvia. It's going to be a lot sweeter than just using erythritol on its own because it has that stevia. So just be in mind, I would use probably less Truvia. The brown sugar blend has sugar and molasses, but I mean, you could use it still. 
I just... Sparingly. You can still make great chocolate chip cookies without the brown sugar. All right, so I would say this is a top 10 because it's one of our favorite jerkies. Um, Duke's Shorty Links. They're just great macros. The two links is 11 fat and seven protein. And usually jerky is higher in protein. So I like to see that. Yeah, and I think we've also tried this one Those too. Those are good. These are good, so seven fat, six protein. And then the other Target that's near our house, we're actually at a different one today. They have a lot of moon cheese selection, so I always get my moon cheese there. So yours might also have moon cheese. The Gouda's my personal favorite. And also at the one by our house, they have, you see here they have this paleo pancake mix. They have the keto pancake mix at the oh. one by our house. So look for that. We reviewed it in a video. It's like decent. It's just kind of plain. You have to add sweetener and flavor to it. But it is a good option, especially if you have kids. It's funny how some of these things are marketed like cereal for digestive wellness. It's literally the exact opposite is what's going on in here. Whole grain barley, whole grain wheat, whole grain corn, whole grain sorghum. It's crazy to think back to how many carbs we used to eat. Well, I would like eat a whole box of the Kellogg's K cereal. So one cup is 33 grams. That's like 130 grams right there. Guys, you know what's up. Not like always. top 10. Not, I said not. Don't eat these. Um, they're just chalk full of maltitol. Maltitol is the first ingredient and it's 18 carbs for two pieces, uh, 15 sugar alcohol. So 15 grams of maltitol for two pieces. We should eat a bag of those just on like a live stream one time. And then see how long it takes for us to have to leave the live stream yeah. to poop our pants. These are delicious. They are. But they, but they quickly do give you disruption. You realize the mistake you've made. And if you're eating them with knowing all of this and that's your decision that's fine because a lot of people still do that but just as a heads up when you're starting out for sure i find it really funny because every time we do a video there's at least one person who's like melted doesn't affect my blood sugar at all i eat this stuff all the time it's just like living in complete denial because yeah. it's not true instead of those candy type things i think it is good to maybe readjust your taste buds to stuff more like this like 85 percent 90 percent cocoa it's gonna have like five to seven grams of net carbs per serving, but- then The 92 is what I get at the end. Mega likes these. You could work your way up though, too. Those ones are actually pretty sweet. Out of all these movies I've seen, I'll rate them really quickly. Seven, nine, six, seven, eight, six, zero. Like a two, two, three, five, eight. You want me to do a two? Yeah. Eight, eight, six and a half, six, five and a half, three, five and a half, five, three, seven and a half, eight, Oh, I forgot Ocean's 8. Four. Six. Four and a half. Seven. It's like a nine and a half. Nine and a half. Trilogy, this one's like a nine. Another good find is Cheddar Wisps. Oh, but Palm Crisps, I think. Palm Crisps are a top 10 Those for are me. better. These ones are taste better. They're way more crispier and crunchier. But yeah. They're both good. Yeah, they're both good options. I feel like we repeat stuff a lot, but these are not top 10. Maltitol, 20 well, grams. Yeah, I mean, new people are seeing this all the time, but... Big, not top 10. Big, not top 10. Big. I used to eat like seven chewy bars a day. This is my childhood in a box. Just grabbing like four of those. Chewy going dips? downstairs. Yeah, you never those had dips? new. No, they're not. I've never heard of I them. I had these when I was a kid. I'd grab four of them and go downstairs and play video games. Um, another top 10 is these Epic Bars. So they had the chicken sriracha and the venison. Those are the two that are going to be your best option. I think they have two... Yeah, two total carbs. They're great ingredients. So top 10 for sure, ZVI, I drink them every day. Um, there's also these though, which are Virgil's brand, Cola, Zero Sugar. Oh, they have cans. Yeah, they have cans. I've never seen them in cans before. Downside, they are sweetened with stevia. Downside is they have like a pretty severe aftertaste, like not great. And, uh, do they have caramel coloring? Yeah, and they do have caramel coloring, whereas the ZVI is just clear, it doesn't. Definitely not as good as ZVI. A big step down. Big step down. And it's a little bit more expensive usually too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These are different now. These have 18 grams of erythritol. Usually it's just stevia. Whoa, so these have 18 grams of erythritol. I don't like that. It's only a matter of time before Coke starts coming out with the stevia version. When we're out and stuff, the pop we usually get is Sprite Zero Sugar. Yeah. It doesn't have the coloring, but it still has the sweeteners like that you kind of want to stay away from. And but... it's caffeine free. All right, guys, that's a wrap on our Target haul. Top 10, not so top 10. Comment below. Let us know what your Target offers that maybe we're missing out on. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you soon.